all the aspirants face the ups and downs uh, i always uh, you know learned during the preparation that it's, it's how important it is to manage a down down period i also went through those days none of the it's not like every day was happy every day was i was satisfied with my preparation or every day i was studying all of us have bad days during our preparations when we don't feel like studying when we are frustrated with our lives when we are scared about the results when we are scared about where our lives or um, where our uh, careers are going to go this is a marathon and this is not a one day or a 10 days job so in order to be very consistent throughout the examination the inspiration has to come from within the aspirants especially the people who who have a plan b a you should always have a plan b sir i personally believe that uh, any competitive exam in this country has a huge component of luck so there is no certainty and it does not reflect on your iq or your hard work or your preparation you should not worry too much about the results because the results are because they are not in our hands the numbers and the statistics are too hard because my only advice will be that it is is it, it is okay to take a day off it is okay to prioritize your mental health over your preparation to take a break to meditate to talk to your friends talk to your family talk to your support system and but the only thing is that that matters in a preparation that is going to be this long is resilience so i think it matters that you come back from your break it matters that you come back you turn up again you start studying again and that is the entire crux sir it- you need to understand your own strength and weaknesses like my major weakness was uh like uh, this exposure to various subjects like history geography after 10th standard there was no formal education that i did in these particular subjects so i thought first i need to go back to the basics one has to enjoy the process as well because without enjoying the process if we only see the examination as an examination as a as a blanket task which one needs to complete and just enter the service then i think it is a, it's very difficult to sustain ourselves for a, for a long period of minimum for one and a half years to maybe 3 years 3 4 years so so we have to enjoy the process we- because you know when we are demotivated we are sitting in a room throughout the day and sometimes we get uh, you know feel ki you know what am i doing here whether is this the right place for me or not uh, is upsc meant for me or not probably i can do something else in life all those things started coming to my head uh, at that point i realized ki i'll not take make a decision when i'm demotivated so when i'm motivated then i'll take probably take a decision and major strength was the planning like during engineering days also we learned that we have very less time and we need to cover vast syllabus so the time constraint uh, even if the time constraint was there that in one year you need to complete the entire syllabus the planning part was always ready sir throughout the time there were doubts but those doubts i i didn't stop because of the doubts i kept on uh, you know uh, continuing my preparation even when doubts were there and during the course of the preparation only those those doubts were automatically corrected because this is something which i noticed recently in the past couple of years that many aspirants they keep on waiting to you know what to do what to do and, and, and because of that process a lot of time is wasted there could be a possibility that to most of our doubts we get the answers but there are certain doubts where we don't get the answers also fortunately because of social media and like sir how you are starting this uh, platform on youtube channel 